Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everyone! I don't know when I will be uploading this video, but to be honest, I've really not been in the mood. Oh god, the sun is sunning. I've really not been in the mood to post up at all. Anyway, Happy New Year. How is everyone doing? Let me show you. See, it's raining and the sun is up as well. I hope the year has been going well so far. Apologies for the silence. I don't know. I think I just decided to take a... I don't know. Will I say do a self-reflection? Self-reflection should be at the end of the year though, not at the beginning of the year. I want to just, you know, take some steps back, reevaluate a lot of things, and proceed to the next level. So, I mean, this is just a very short video to just like, um, will I say, I'll be back fully in February, okay? And when I come back, I would give the reasons why I have been MIA, and hopefully by then would be all set and get up for the new year but i hope the year has been going well for everyone hope it has been good hope your goals the goals that you've set already for this year you started working towards it you know at the beginning of the year everyone is always like oh um i'm going to do this i'm going to be this this year i'm going to you know these are my goals but somewhere along the line you know you just get discouraged or distracted with a lot of things happening around and you know you do not pursue those goals until the end of the year again so i personally this year i started this year with so much um in terms of my own of course i have a lot of goals as well but in terms of <clears throat> my spiritual life okay yeah you can go 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 that was why was calling me sorry about that so for me in terms of my spirit i'm very particular and intentional about my spiritual growth this year you know like this year myself and my family we just thought to actually be very intentional in terms of studying the world growing growing spiritually i mean the truth of the matter is that Along the line, I've realized that as Christians, right, we get carried away so much by lots of things happening. Of course, you have your work, you have your <clears throat> possibly school and all of that. And then you kind of get so carried away. I hope this video will be clear because the sun, I don't know where to position my camera. I mean, so you get very carried away with, see, you see all I used to say about water. The sun is really, really out. Okay, let me just position it this way. So, you know, as Christians, we get so carried away with, um, what's it called? A lot of things happening around, you know, and even you like get so busy with church activities you know but then are you growing spiritually like personal life you should say it in church that how many times do you even open your bible to read your bible you know last year i think it was last sunday of last year in church you know it was about performance appraisal seeing how well you've done especially in terms of the things of god you know and i felt guilty to be very honest right i I wait for Sundays or Thursdays, I mean, Bible study or Sundays to actually study the word. I mean, that's the opportunity I have in quotes, you know. And I just thought about it, like, you know, myself and my husband, like, come on. One shouldn't get carried away by... Also, are you trying to say if there's no church, you would not open your Bible, you would not read the word, you would not, I mean, be close to God or develop a very close relationship with God. We pray, we... Um saying yeah right but in terms of really really delving deep into the world we are very guilty to be honest and we looked at 2023 we're like jesus we can count how many times with one hand we actually open the bible ourselves not not related to maybe church um or church program or or what's it called or anything that we need to do in church right but ourselves like 
when did we actually say you know what we're going to open our bible and actually dig deep into the word you can count we're going through the new testament this year we started january 1st today is the 8th of january and i am so so excited that we've been keeping track initially when at the beginning of the year previous years we'll be like oh we're going to do this we're going to do this by day three my dears we're falling as i mean it's it's, it's no more like I, we, we do not proceed further you know and it's really really sad but this year we've said you know what we're going to do it and we have this app that i would like to introduce to anyone who would like to join I mean, there are different plans that you can join. You can decide to do the New Testament, Old Testament, the whole Bible or specific parts of the, you know, depending on what exactly you want. So we thought, you know, well, let's start from the New Testament. And it's been so good. All of us, my children and all, we, you know, studied on our own. Then we discuss it further. And it has really, really opened my eyes to a lot of things. Like, and you know how the Holy Spirit interprets his word to you. You know, that is why even when you go to church or when you hear preaching online or whatever, wherever it is, yes, the pastor is saying something, you know, the minister of God is saying something. But when you study the word, I don't know, it, it's almost as if the Holy Spirit would actually interpret to you. Like there are so many, see, one verse can have hundred interpretations, hundred revelations, you know, like even when we discuss at the end of the day every day i mean myself and my family all of us will all have the way we see we have i mean what we see i mean what was revealed to us while reading and it was it's, it's actually really cool so i just i mean this video is just to kind of encourage you all to you know start with christ if you are of course christians you know start with god let god be the one to direct and lead you this year you know like i said um to be honest this month i said i was not even going to record any video that i just want to relax you know and all of that and i'll start in february but i said no let me just do this video to encourage everyone that i mean the year is still early so you can join i'll drop the link to the um bible app um it's not bible app to the app that we use for this it's called you bible it is so cool oh my god and there are daily verses that you can actually also study you know and in fact this and see ah oh god it just almost looks like i've been missing out on a lot of things in terms of you know the world like it's been so good like and one thing is that every morning we used to kind of you know i mean personally on our own you know read it and study the word and it kind of helps in terms of guiding one through the day if you get what i mean so i'll drop the link below do join the plan i can share my plan so that we can be you know going through it together you know you can add notes we can reflect on it together at some point and all of that or you can just create your own plan together with the rest of your family it's a very very good app really really lovely and may the lord bless you and order your footsteps accordingly this year okay all right see you